Qatar has brokered a deal that will allow the delivery of medicine to captives held in Gaza. The Gaza war has now entered its 100th day. And finally, Namibia has rejected Germany's support and intervention on behalf of Israel in their ongoing hearings. Hi, this is Ali. This is The Roundup and here are today's top stories. Qatar has reached a deal with Israel that will allow the Gulf state to deliver medical aid to captives held by Hamas in Gaza. Over 100 of the 240 hostages that were taken by Hamas on October 7th still remain in captivity as Israel has refused to negotiate their release. A ceasefire brokered by Doha and Cairo in late November saw over 100 hostages released in exchange for a pause in fighting and the release of Palestinian detainees held in Israeli jails. On that note, the Gaza war has now entered its 100th day, marking the longest and most destructive attack by Israeli forces on Palestinians. Israel has relentlessly pounded the besieged strip with airstrikes and ground offensive, which has led to entire neighborhoods being flattened and over 23,000 Palestinians being murdered. Israel is also engaged in a cross-border war with Lebanon's Hezbollah since 8 October. And finally, Namibia has strongly condemned Germany for defending Israel in their genocide case at the International Court of Justice. President of Namibia, Hage Jingob, released a statement saying the decision to defend the genocidal and gruesome acts of the Israeli government was shocking. Israel is currently at the wrong end of a genocide court case at the ICJ, accused by South Africa of aiming to bring about the the destruction of the population of Gaza. Well, that's all for today. For more stories, head over to our website or download our app.